but anything that may start out being good can quickly end up being evil if the wrong people get control of it. So to me, that's the scariest thing about this is yes, it may all do all sorts of good things, but what's it going to do when it gets in the hands of the evil guy who is going to then exploit it on humanity? Hey guys. Okay. All right, everyone. It's what March, March fourth, two thousand and eighteen. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Cypress, Texas. Welcome, everyone. If you're joining, um, kick back and relax. If you're joining, welcome, everyone. I see you guys jumping on. Thumbs up. You guys are reading the title. We're gonna talk about flat Earth. <laughs> We're gonna freaking talk about flat earth. Okay, so where can I start? Well, let's start here. Let's give an introduction. If you guys don't know who I am, um, my name is Jason Mangan. I'm a coach. Um, I'm 36 years old. I live, I live here in Cypress, Texas. I love Texas. I love the land. I love the weather. Um, I love it. I have a beautiful wife named Charlotte. We have five beautiful, intelligent boys. Um, I've been in network marketing. I've been in network marketing for uh, about 20 years. I actually started when I was 13 years old um, in a company called Amway. Um, but I've been in network marketing doing it full time for about four years now. Okay. Um, so in the last four years, everyone, you know, when you get a chance to uh, quit your full time job, because if you guys didn't know this, I was, you know, I was working my full time job for, you know, 50, 60, sometimes 70 hours out of the week. So I didn't have a lot of time to um, investigate and research certain things that I wanted to investigate in. Now, don't get me wrong, ever since I was eight years old, um, I was a very sensitive kid. You know, I knew the world that was being taught to us um, was filled with lies. I just, I just didn't know where to start, you know, because you're so young, you know, you're born into a system filled with separation and division and competition and getting good grades and you're building a system where your parents are, parents are teaching you that you have to become a really good repeater. You have to study and study and study your textbooks and schools and universities and you have to get good grades so you can get a scholarship and go to a university to become a corporate agent and an employee to work for the system to repeat the same cycle over and over again for your family. But that didn't really feel comfortable for me. And that's one of the, one of the major reasons why um, I decided to become an entrepreneur because um, I wanted my freedom. I wanted my freedom to um, hold myself accountable, take responsibility of my life, and become my own scientist, become my own teacher. Um, I had this deep emotional desire at a very young age to know truth. I wanted to know truth at a very deep soul place. And uh, I felt like I wasn't getting truth um, from our television, from movies, um, from governments, from our teachers, from our textbooks from my coaches that I grew up with. I just felt like I wasn't getting truth, but I, you know, you're so young, you don't know where to start. You don't know where to, you don't know where to start. All, all I knew is that the world was completely messed up. <laughs> it was completely messed up. And, uh, and I was messed up with it. You know, I was completely messed up with it. So, um, you know, that, there, there's a little bit introduction. Now I'm also gonna give a, a disclaimer. Now we are gonna talk about the flat earth model, 
And this video is going to last probably for an hour or so. So if you don't have a time, if you don't have time to kick back and relax, just come back later and watch the recording. Okay? The war, the you know, there's never demands or expectations on forcing something onto someone. Just because I believe something or just because you believe something and I don't believe something, um, there's never expectations that you need to believe my belief systems, okay? Um, that's one of the major screw-ups in this world is that most people don't respect people's free choice and free will to create what they want to create or live how they want to live. It doesn't matter what religion they're a part of, what sexua sexuality they are. It doesn't matter what company they're with. Um, most people don't respect free will and free choice. So there's a disclaimer. Another disclaimer is, is that I'm going to trigger, I'm going to emotionally trigger a lot of people watching this video. You might feel angry at times. Now, if you feel angry at me and you want to, you know, blast me and try to defame my character and name call me and become very emotionally abusive or verbally abusive, um, this is my recommendation. I'm not forcing anyone to watch this video. Okay, you're making free choices based on your free will to watch this video. I guarantee most of you will be emotionally triggered in anger. Now, if you feel angry, please don't abuse the messenger or anyone on this chat that might message. Okay, please be responsible, mature, loving adults and just remove yourself from the... Of, from the video and process your anger and fully feel it fully feel it without projecting your anger towards me or towards anyone else that is watching this live Facebook video okay please uh, because you will get emotionally triggered because of some of the things that I'm gonna say and I needed to start there first because literally everyone, okay, I've st I started investigating the flat earth model. Uh, hold on real quick, I gotta change this, I gotta change this music. This music is whew, killing me right now. Okay. Okay. So, um, I've been investigating the flat earth model for about 14 months now. Now I do consider myself um, very intelligent. Um, I do consider myself very emotionally aware. I'm aware of my surroundings. I'm aware of my physical senses, my emotional senses, and my spiritual senses. I do consider myself very intelligent when it comes to um, physical sensories and our surroundings and our environment. Now, growing up as a kid, I wasn't really, I, I didn't gravitate to school. I was very bored in school. Um, I, I felt like there, as a kid growing up, one of the reasons why um, I didn't study as much and didn't want to become such a repeater like everyone else uh, is because I just felt like there was a lot of misinformation um, that was purposely designed to misguide children. And I felt that at a very young age. So I didn't get really good grades, you know. There, and I was a BC student, you know. So I, I didn't really, it, it, it didn't really, I didn't really have a strong desire to study textbooks. And I didn't really have a strong desire to go to a university. The only real reason why I went to a university and went to college is because I was um, a very athletically talented individual. And when I graduated high school in 2000 in Gilbert, Arizona, at Highland High School, gotta give a shout out to Highland High. Uh, when I graduated in 2000, I actually 
I could have went to a university or I could have walked on to Arizona State University and played football there. But I actually took a year off. And the, the major reason why I took a year off school is because I did not like school. I just felt like we were being lied to in, in so many different directions. And most of you know this as well too. That's why most of you gravitate to my videos. That's why most of you, that's why this law of attraction of this community that we've created together of giving and receiving information that's why a lot of you are attracted to, to what I'm about and who I am. Because if, if, if you resonate with this video, you kind of felt the same way too as a kid. Um, but you didn't really know how to express it. And you didn't know what it all meant. And I, like I said, I took a year off. And the only real reason why I took a year off after I graduated high school um, is because I wanted to start making money. I wanted to become my own entrepreneur. I wanted to... Um, get away as fast as I can away from my parents and I wanted to travel the world and I wanted to experience new things and I wanted to get away from a very controlled uh, manip manipulative system that controls your mind and your thoughts and your emotions and your behaviors because I felt that I felt like I felt like school was a place to repeat the same things everyone else was doing and thinking and believing and I kind of felt like that with religion as well I felt like religion in some way was doing that too and I felt like governments in some way was doing that as well and I felt like television was doing that as well and I just wanted to just break free for a good year and that's what I did I broke free for a good year after high school and I just and I became a, a, a sheetrock stalker. I um I stalk sheetrock with um, my dad, who still stalks sheetrock. It's crazy. He's been doing it for over 25 years, maybe 30 years. Uh, um, and I just started making money. And the only real reason why I went back to school is because I had like I had this pain inside of me, like I'm wasting um, athletic talent. I'm wasting athletic talent, and I um, maybe I should maybe I should try to go professional, you know? Maybe I should. Maybe I should just give it all that I can. And I went back to school, and those two and a half, three years that I was back at school in college, I I didn't like it. Now, I enjoyed the experience and I enjoyed meeting new people and building new friendships, but I did not enjoy studying in textbooks. But when you're born in the system, you want to please people, right? When you're born in this system and the system has engraved in you certain responsibilities to think the way to think and to repeat the way to repeat and to study and to to do what your parents did, to do what your grandparents did, to do what your family has done, to do what your past has done. Everyone's doing it, you must do it. Everyone's doing it, you must do it. Even someone like myself that is very sensitive and knew it was wrong, it's easy to be influenced by other people that might not have your best interest. They might not have your best interest. And so, there's a huge reason why I stayed for even three years in college and I had to get out and one of the major reasons why I got out and I did not graduate school is because of 9-11. Uh, 9-11 happened and it triggered me emotionally in so many different directions because the moment 9-11 happened and supposed airplanes flew into two towers and somehow these two towers simultaneously fell down very organized and structured like a, a purposely designed demolition I immediately called bullshit on the information that was being presented to us on mainstream news and 
and I started questioning everything from there on out. And 9-11 was um, September 11, 2001. I, I think I was 21 years old. And uh, I just couldn't believe how many, how many lives were lost in, uh, in, a, in a purposely designed operation uh, that came from people that lived here in our country. I just, I, could, I couldn't fathom why, why people would do this. Why, why they would murder innocent women and men and children and put families into so much dis distress and grief um, because of their own hidden agendas. And when I was watching those two twin towers fall down on television at work, um, I didn't me I didn't immediately get it, but I knew I didn't trust it, and I called bullshit. And then as I think back at it, as I think back on it now, everyone, they literally showed all of their cards. The moment they did that, these so-called bloodline families that control the, the major monopolies of the world, including the money system, which is the banks, including governments, including the military, including information, these bloodline families that came together and purposely designed those two towers to fall on September 11, 2001, they showed all of their cards to the masses. Because if you're a responsible human being and a child of God, and you're willing to investigate and research 9-11 the way I did, you can see so much flaws and how that was portrayed to the masses on television. Now I'm not gonna, this video is not gonna be about 9-11. This video is actually gonna be on the flat earth model, but I have to paint you a picture and share with you a story on how I got to where I got and what I believe right now in this beautiful realm that we live in. Um, Talking about 9-11 is very touchy for me because that was a huge transformation and shift and change of my life. I just didn't understand why these so-called leaders would lie blatantly over and over again, over and over again on television. These so-called government leaders would lie to us. And... murder thousands of people's lives and that truly started my journey as an adult as an adult that's when I started um, that's when I started getting really angry and I knew I had a lot of anger and I had a tremendous amount of rage um, and I tried to use that anger and rage to the best of my ability it did beat me up at times um, but then I started you know I started deciding to um, get on the internet and I started to um, reach out to certain architects and engineers and pilots and I started investigating 9-11 um, and I started researching alternative information that we don't read or hear or listen or watch on television and um, you know it got me into Alex, jo Alex Jones I started listening to Alex jo Jones at the beginning of my um, research days which I don't listen to anymore because he's a huge fear monger um, and he's definitely <clears throat> uh, an inside agent uh, for sure but I started you know Alex Jones you know he mixes truths with lies and then he also projects a lot of anger and fear to get you into a place of submission and control.
But I started listening to him at my early, in my early 20s, I started listening to David Icke. I don't listen to, to David Icke either anymore. Um, but they mix truth, right? They, um, they mix truths with entertainment and lies. But I was getting to a place where this information did make sense. And then I started coming around some information with a particular gentleman named Max Egan. Now, Max Egan has an incredible website called thecrowhouse.com. Thecrowhouse.com. He has a YouTube channel that you, you could uh, subscribe to. It's The Crow House. And Max Egan is a very, very wise, knowledgeable, intelligent man when it comes to um, really finding out who controls and dominates the world in these multi-trillion dollar corporations. Um, because whether you know this or not, all, continent, all continents, countries and states, they're just corporations. And within these corporations, you have government corporations, prison, prison corporations, the medical field corporation, pharmaceutical corporations, university corporations, um, public school corporations, right? And then it just trickles down from there, okay? So these bloodline families, they control the policies, right? They're the top of the pyramid that controls the policies, regulations, and information that is being distributed down to these corporations. Universities, medical schools, right? Medical, hospitals, pharmaceuticals, vaccinations, um, everything it's it's trickled down so they're the one that regulates the information and makes and they sign off they sign off on what information is being distributed to the masses and that flow of information comes to us in the internet it comes to us on our iPhones it comes to us on in our textbooks and on television so these people control Hollywood, right? They control Hollywood, they control Disney, Universal Studios, okay? So their main goal is to connect with children because you as children be, with the ages of one and seven, um, it's, it's the best and greatest way to give information to children because information and children soak up all of that information at a very young, young age. So these bloodline families create Universal Studios, Disney, they create Disney movies, Disney characters, right? They create Hollywood and they pay professional actors and actresses, not just on movies, but they pay professional actresses and actresses seven figure incomes, eight figure incomes and above um, to purposely lie to you so they can get to our children and brainwash and mind control the brains of our kids. I know that was a lot, but that's the truth. And so literally you have kids, their entire culture, you have our children, their entire culture is this, on their iPhone, walking around, driving in their car, like you don't have, you don't have kids waving at anyone, hey, hi, hey, good morning, good afternoon, great evening. Hey, you want to go play outside and play with some sticks? You want to go climb a tree? You want to go play flashlight tag? No, no, you have kids doing this. You have kids. Hey, oh, oh, yep. Oh, 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 yep, 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 yep. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Oh, what, what was that, mom? Dad, what was that, mom? mom? Oh, 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 oh. Right? That's what you have kids doing. You don't have kids wanting to go to rivers and swim in rivers and, and jump in lakes any longer. You, you, you have kids, their complete identification, their identity and culture is um, all being taught on their iPhone, on, on a laptop. So these bloodline families that regulate information and distribute it to all of the corporations down to the masses, they also create games, internet games, iPhone games. They create all kinds of technology games that are incredibly disgusting. 
like pedophile games, right? Violent, disturbing games. Mind-numbing, mind-controlling, brainwashing games. And that's what they feed our kids. That's what they feed our children. And so when you can tap into a two-year-old between the ages of two and seven, you can tap into their brain. And when you can tap into their brain with flashy lights and technology and flashy words and marketing techniques, which is basically just a, a huge psychological warfare on repetitive words, marketing words, sales pitches, um, mark, it's, it's, it's a huge, huge psyop operation to get your kids to believe what the system is telling them about everything, about how their body operates, about who they are, about what they're not, about what they're connected to and what they're not connected to, about how the world really operates, right? The system and these bloodline families want our kids to worship them as gods, okay? And so what they do is these bloodline families that have tremendous amount of capital, financial resources, financial capital, all kinds of uh, connections across the world, right? What they do is It's just, it's just, it's just a very dark, evil, occult way of doing things, right? It's, um, and so when you have people like myself that are taking the courage to come on a, on a live Facebook video and potentially might get bombarded by people's verbal abuse to me, Phys they could physically harm me. Um, people become tough on the internet. You know, and when you're triggering their belief systems, people will do and say anything to protect their belief systems. They'll do anything. They'll, they'll murder people. And that's why we have our young brothers and sisters, our young sons and daughters, um, fighting, fighting a scam called terrorism. It's all a sham, everyone. It's a sham. We have our young brothers and sisters that have been completely brainwashed and manipulated, manipulated and very mind controlled um, from what they've seen on television and news programs and on, on their Facebook news feed, on the YouTube. And, um, and, and these are good people. These are good people that want to protect and keep people safe. Um, but they're needlessly dying on uh, false flag operations. It's um, Terrorism is... Is fake. Now, don't get me wrong. There are bad people out there, but the way it was taught to us on television, uh, the true terrorism is the people that are running our governments. The true terrorism is the people that are uh, misleading us in our textbooks and controlling the policies and procedures and regulations and the uh, school curriculums in our public schools and our universities. The true terrorism um, are the people that control and operate um, the medical industry, the vaccination industry and the pharmaceutical industry. The true terrorism are people that control um, the poisons and the toxins in our food and water. Um, that's true terrorism. Um, and it's a very, very sad situation. I told you you're going to be triggered. Um, and this is all of the stuff that, you know, I've been investigating. Hold on real quick. I have my son real quick. Hey, love, what's up?
Okay, when I get done with the video, when I get done with the video, I'm coming out and then we can go, okay? Sorry about that. My son wants me to take him to Target and buy him toys. <laughs> but anyways, um, so, you know, ever, you know, ever since 9-11 happened, I've been doing a lot of uh, individual research and I think everyone should. I think um, everyone should take the time to do their own individual research and investigate what's, what's true and what's not true. Don't believe what I say. Don't believe anything what I say. Okay, I'm just a messenger. We're, bo we're, we're both students and teachers. Students and teachers. We're, we're messengers. And we're all learning. And, um, but this is how I act in my life. You know, I'm 36 years old and this is how I view things in my life. I'll give you an example. Okay. Let's take this. Let's say you and your soulmate or your spouse, or let's say you and your best friend were the only people on earth. Live this way, everyone. This is, this is my recommendation that everyone should live on. Live this way. There's no school systems. There's no universities. There's no books. Okay, there's no religion. There's no churches, right? Live this way for the rest of your life. And you'll find out very quickly most of the information that was taught to you was all lies. Most of it was. Based on history, based on science, based on everything. Every, on everything. Okay? But live this way from now on. There's no schools, no television. It's only you and your spouse. Or is it just, for example, it's just you. It's just you on earth. You got you, got you and you got your best friend or spouse. There's no corporations, there's no radio, there's no magazines, there's no grocery stores, there's no schools, no textbooks, nothing. No governments, no kings and queens, nothing. It's just you and the land you live on, okay? What would you do as an individual to figure out truth? How would you survive? What would you test? What would you experiment with? What would your physical senses tell you? What would your emotional senses tell you? What would your spiritual senses tell you? Would you, cr would you try to connect with a creator? Or wouldn't you try to connect with the creator? What would you observe with your physical eyes? What would you see around you? How would you live? What would you eat? What would you drink? See, this is how I live my life. I don't believe anything anyone tells me unless I test it out myself. Now, don't get me wrong. I will take people's counsel and advice. Of course. I will take your counsel and advice. I will respectably listen to your belief systems and, and opinions. Of course. But I will always test everything myself and figure out myself. Because why? Because I desire to be my own doctor. I desire to be my own teacher. I desire to be my own um, spiritual teacher. I desire to be my own scientist. I desire to be my own author. My own captain of my ship. That's what I desire. So, in times throughout the day when I'm being bombarded with information coming to me and so many different sections I just live like there's nothing around me there's no one around me to share with me their belief systems on religion or God there's no one no one to share with me um, about their belief systems and opinions on my phone or on the laptop no, I, t I take that all take that all away. Take it all away. And what do you get? You get you. You get the land that you live on. Right? You get your environment. Right? What like like literally what would you eat? Like what would you test? 
How would you grow food? What would you learn? What would you experience? Right? What would you see above you? The wandering lights above us. What would you feel? What would you see? You literally become your own astronomer. You literally become your own teacher in geography. You literally become your own teacher in everything because that's how uh, an individual should be learning on a daily basis, taking 100% responsibility and accountability for their life without believing, without just giving up their power to some other equal brother and sister of ours just because they're a teacher, just because they have some sort of status level. No one's above you. No one's above me. Police officers don't have authority over you. The President of the United States doesn't have authority over you. The IRS doesn't have authority over you. Presidents, kings and queens, they don't have authority over you. Everyone has an equal playing field. It's an equal playing field. Everyone is equal to one another. So if we're all equal, we all have the equal responsibility as an individual to test and experiment with everything. Why do I do plant medicines? Why do I do plant medicines? And it's against the law here in the United States. Why do I do ayahuasca? Why am I going back to South America to participate in a shaman culture that's been around for 3,000 years? Why am I participating with four ceremonies in ayahuasca ceremonies? Why am I staying in South America for 20 days to participate in a ceremony with San Pedro in Cusco? Why is it illegal to do plant medicines here in the United States? Why do we have 90% victimless crimes of people in prison systems here in the United States? Now I'm going off a little topic, but I'm going to get back to the flat earth model because this is what I've been learning for the last 20 plus years as I started becoming 100% accountable for my life. There's a lot of questions that are not being answered by our so-called authority figures. And to be direct and honest, you will never, ever get clear, concise, direct, truthful, honest answers from these so-called authority figures that run our governments, our money system, that run the regulations, policies, and the school curriculums in our textbooks. Now, I'm not any I'm not against anyone that is a teacher. I'm not any, I'm not against anyone that's a government agent or I'm not. If you're a doctor, great. You know? If you're a teacher, great. I respect your free will. You know, we have a lot of good people with good hearts that want to help people and serve people. But what happens is, is the system has brainwashed us to use those natural, organic feelings of service and help um, to protect this, their system and to keep their system safe and secure so their system runs on clockwork runs on clockwork 24 seven. So what they do is they use your natural gifts and talents and they use your emotions because they know that you and I have this sense of love and service and we want to help people and we want to protect people and we want to um, enjoy life to, to, with one another. And so they use information, they manipulate our emotions, right? And they use our talents and gifts of that love, but they use it so we can serve the system. So the system, you know, <laughs> so the system is showing you, oh, no, 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 we do love you. And we, we are sharing with you tr truth and we are protecting you and keeping you safe and secure. Like if you really think about it this way, 
Why are we being entertained and watching someone else's business? Like governments? That's not our business. Separating yourself and categorizing yourself to be a Republican or a liberal or a Democrat, you're separating yourself from a, a, a collective consciousness of humanity. Why are you in someone else's business? Get out of the business. Get out of it. Get, a, get out of people's business on the internet, on social media platform. Get out of people's business on movies and watching sports games. That's not your business. That's none of your business. It's all entertainment. Treat it as all entertainment. When you're watching something on the news, why are you in someone else's business? When you're watching a political debate, that's someone else's business. Do they put food on your table? Do they grow your business? Do they grow your personal business? Are they there for you, mentoring you, leading and guiding you on a personal level, face to face? Why are you in someone else's business? You know why this is so popular? It's because for the last 2,000 years, these people, these bloodline families that control the major resources and monopolies of the world have studied and operated on live human bodies. They understand how your brain operates. They understand how your emotions operate. They understand how your spiritual body operates, how your physical senses operate. They understand everything about the body. You don't think they just dissect on animals. Don't kid yourself. Don't lie to yourself. They operate and dissect on children, on adults, and they've been doing this for thousands of years. They know how you operate. So what they do is they tap themselves with lying information. They tap themselves into your emotions. And when they can get down into your emotions, they can create certain habits and patterns and actions within you to support a lying, corrupted, dysfunctional system. I'm getting pretty deep and my kid wants to go to Target right now. But we're going to get to the flat earth model. Hold on. Hey, we're, I'm coming. Give me, give me 20 more minutes. I love you. We're almost done. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's talk about the flat earth model now. So with all of that that I've been learning in the past 20 years, I have a broad scope of wow. Um, most of the information that has been taught to me has been lies. So when Flat Earth came into my arena 14 months ago and I saw it on a YouTube video and I was like, what? What? Really? No. And it was an interview by Dave Murphy. Murphy, Dave Murphy. He's an African-American, beautiful guy, great intelligent guy. And he was being interviewed um, by an older gentleman. He was overweight, had long hair. I forgot what the, I forgot his name. Um, but it was a great in interview because it made me question things about um, the world we live in. And I was like, no, 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 no. This can't, this can't, this can't be right. And Dave was giving example after example on this hour and 15 minute interview presentation type thing. And he was talking about it all. And I was like, there's no way, there's no way that, you know, NASA has lied to us. There's no way that governments have lied to us on this. There's no way that they've lied to us about the world we live on. And I wanted to debunk the flat earth model. So I was like, okay, okay. I'm digging what Dave is saying in this interview. I'm digging it. Like I'm intuitively feeling like some sort of connection here, like he's on to something, but there's no way we live on a flat earth based on what I know, based on what was taught to me in my science books. So after watching that, you know what I did? 
I said, I'm gonna find a pitcher. Trust me, we can just go to Google, right? We can go to Google and I'm gonna find a picture of the Earth in space looking down on us. There has to be hundreds, if not thousands of legitimate real pictures. We have the technology, everyone. We have the technology, especially now, we have the technology, right? There should be thousands of pictures from space or from space, looking down, picture of Earth. We've been to space, right? We landed on the moon, right? We have astronauts that went through the, 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 uh, the van belt, right? They traveled. We have, we have thousands of satellites, right? We have supposed thousands of satellites. There should be at least hundreds of real pictures of Earth from space. So what I did was I got on Google and I said, looking for um, pictures of Earth from space. And I got like lots of pictures of Earth, of these images. And I'm looking at these images and I'm like, wait a minute. Like, um, um, these are not real. Like, these are, these are computer graphic images. No, I'm, I, I want, I want real images. Like, like, if I'm gonna take a picture of my family, I, I need a, a composite of a real picture of Earth from space. Like, we can do it. We have the technology. We should have thousands of pictures from different angles, from different sides, from above, from below, to right, to left, from different views. Like, we do this here on our land when we like safari trips and when we're in hot air balloons or when we're in airplanes, when we're on top of mountains. We have different angles of viewpoints of Earth. We should have different angles and viewpoints of Earth from space. But why am I not getting any accurate real pictures on Google? Why? So I'm looking and I'm scanning through these freaking pictures. 14 months ago, I'm scanning and I'm getting this like overwhelming feeling of like, oh my God, we've been lied to about where we live on. We've been lied to. I'm not saying the world's flat, but as I'm scanning these pictures, I'm like, these bastards that control NASA and get paid $19 billion a year from citizens that pay their taxes <laughs> are creating fakery. They're creating computer graphic images, paintings. They're creating images like they're creating images and create uh, computer graphic images on Hollywood movies. And then I'm like, why are we not getting real pictures? And then I see a picture of like 1976, right? From an astronaut. Dude, I don't know these astronaut names. I don't care about their names. I don't care about times or dates. All I know at this particular time is that these are lying fools. And we're gonna get into a why. So. Just that evidence alone, just that evidence alone of going on Google, just that evidence alone. I don't need to be a mathematician. I don't need to be an astronomer. I don't need to be some sort of IT technician. I don't need to be um, some sort of pro uh, a professional geographer. Like, I don't need to know any of that. Why in the heck don't we have thousands of real pictures of Earth from space? That one clue told me right there that, oh my goodness, everything that I learned in my science books about space is lies. And I'm going to have to unlearn or learn what I, or unlearn what I've learned. And I'm going to have to do that with my science books as well. Um, the science of space. Um, I'm gonna have to unlearn that because we should have a real picture on Google. Just go, like, just go, like, go right now. Whoever's, you're gonna be watching this video, 
you're watching this video now, go right now, go to Google and go pictures of Earth from space. See what you find. Post me, post me your results. Post me your results. We should have thousands of different pictures of Earth from space, from different angles, from different viewpoints, close-up shots, far shots. We supposedly have thousands, over 1,200 satellites in space. Why don't we have a real, concise, truthful picture of Earth from space? Because we're dealing with lying psychopaths that believe in a cult black dark magic and these people's jobs these agents these corporate agents that believe in their own bloodline systems have purposely designed information to lie and manipulate you because they don't want you to know of a true creator they don't want you to know how magnificent and beautiful and special you are as an individual, how powerful you are as an individual. So, as I was getting deeper into my investigation as the Flat Earth model, I started looking up Eric DeBay. Go to ericdebay.com. I started watching his YouTube videos, I got on his website, I started reading his material, and I'm like, man, a lot of what these guys are saying are true. And then I started um, connecting with um, legitimate astronomers, right? And then I started connecting with engineers, surveyors, people that had built 50-mile um, canals, 100-mile canals, people that had built roadways, people and bridges, right? And um, pilots, I started connecting with pilots, engineers and architects, professors, right? These people are coming out you can look them up on youtube hundreds of people are coming out in their profession some of them are losing their job talking about this people in the military coming out and saying whatever has been taught to you by nasa and your science books about what we live on are is false why would smart smart people that have six-figure incomes, that have good jobs and security, lose their jobs because they're coming out and they're saying, no, this whole flat earth model thing kind of makes sense. Now, I'm not saying the world is flat, but what I know of right now, the world that was taught to us in our science books and from NASA and from these, these lying astronauts, the world is not what you think it is. That I know for sure. This globe model that we're spinning at thousands of miles an hour, spin, um, flying in a space, like a spaceship at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour, while other planets are spinning up around us at thousands, tens of thousands of miles an hour. They got us. Because <laughs> if you look at it, it's ridiculous. Do you know all of those numbers that I just presented to you is just all theories? None of that has ever been proven. What they spit and spew at us is mathematical, um, philosophical, scientific equations. And, but they're all theories. So they give you a, a mathematical model and that's what these professors are, are, are taught to teach you. They spit out smart, sophisticated language. So you think and feel that you're listening to a smart individual, but you're not because they're just spitting out theories. It's never been proven and it will never be proven because we don't spin. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, when, at the very beginning of this video, Live like you were the only person on earth. No one can share with you their belief systems, no corporations, no religions, no spiritual movement, no schools, no books, no newspapers, no television, no governments, no kings and queens. Live like you were the only person on earth. You would have to master the basics of being a human being. You would actually have to tap into your physical senses and feel 
and see what's above us and what's below us. So then, after I started studying a little bit about the flat earth model, I started using a little bit more of my physical senses. I'm like, wait a minute. They say we spin at thousands of miles an hour, faster than any jet on earth, flying into space at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour, to come to figure out that these are all just mathematical theories to fit their globe model. I'm like, wait a minute, we're teaching theories as facts? We're teaching theories as facts. So I'm saying to myself, okay, so I'm gonna use my physical senses. So I'm using my physical senses and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't feel anything. None of us feel anything. When we get into a car at 30 miles an hour, at five miles an hour, we can feel a car moving. Why don't we feel the earth moving at thousands of miles, at over a thousand miles an hour? Spinning. Why? I don't understand it. Why don't I feel that? When I use my physical eyes, what do I see? Well, I see lights above us. I see lights above us that are moving. I see the sun moving and I see the moon is moving. I also see the stars moving. Okay? I call them wandering lights um, because knowing what I know now, they're not planets. And you'll figure that out very quickly. They're not planets. They're wandering lights. Look in your telescope. Okay? Everything that's in your science textbooks and everything that you see on television, everything that you see on the internet about space, 99.9% .9 of all of that are computer graphic images. It's all computer graphic images. Why can't someone just post something? Why can't someone just post me a real picture of Earth right now? A real picture of a planet without computer graphic, without com computer graphic images, without paintings, without cartoon figures. Can please someone just post me a real picture? You're not going to find it. You know what you're going to find? You're going to find um, pictures at 35,000 feet, 45,000 feet, right? That's the altitude. And you're going to find some pictures that supposedly have a curve of Earth. Then when you look in deeper, they're using a camera that is a fish, a fish lens camera. It's a fish lens camera. That if you look down, it's going to curve. If you look up, it's going to curve. If you look to the side, it's going to curve. It's a fish eye lens camera. Use a regular camera. You, you see her, the horizon. The horizon always rises at eye level. It's, it's a, it's, it looks flat. It looks like a plain with valleys and mountains, rivers. But you know, I've been I've been on some high mountains. What I have binoculars. I have a telescope. I've seen what I've seen. Just just using my physical senses, I know that we were lied to. Just using my physical senses and the technology that I have right now with my binoculars, my telescope. And just feeling, I feel at this particular time that we are a stationary realm. I don't even like calling it a plane. It's a stationary, unmovable realm. Now, if you want to go to the metaphysics of everything and about energy and vibrations and frequencies, yes, everything is moving at some sort of way. I get it. But I'm not talking about metaphysics. I'm talking about a physical position. I'm talking about from what our physical eyesight can see and what our physical body can feel. We're, we're, we live on a stationary realm, a stationary realm. And what I can see from a hot air balloon in a high mountain is that the, the horizon looks like a plane. It looks flat. And, it, and the horizon is always rising up to my eye level. I don't, but we live on a globe that's spinning at 1,000 miles an hour, flying into space at hundreds of, th hundreds of thousands of miles an hour with other planets flying around us at hundreds of thousands of miles. It's a complete hoax, everyone. It's a joke. It's a hoax. And I got the courage enough to finally, in 14 months, come out 
and share some truth that we've been lied to about the world we live on. People are going to name call me. People are going to try to defame my character. People, you know, like you bring this up to people and people can be the most evil, rudest, despicable people because when you trigger their belief system, whether it's in religion or what the world we live on, they get violent. Some people get very, very violent. And that's been happening to me for 14 months. And that's some of the emotions that I've been working on. I don't project my anger back at them. Sometimes I do. At the beginning I did. I would project my anger at them. And I wanted to freaking strangle them. Um, but then I realized I, I, it was my own law of attraction and I need to, you know, that particular woman or male was showing me that I needed to work on my own control issues my own expectations and demands onto others. And, and that's what I've been doing for the last year now. So now I'm at a place where um, I can do videos like this and it doesn't really matter what people think of me. You know, I, I still go through my emotions and I still get triggered and I'll feel what I need to feel through. Um, but I have, the, I have enough courage and enough information and enough knowledge and wisdom and intelligence, enough in, um, true scientific experimentation um, on what's real. And I said, you know, and like I said, I, I don't know what I know of now, what I know now, I'm not saying the world is flat. I just know without a doubt that there's no way I will trust anything from what the government shared with me. I will not trust anything that NASA shares with me. I caught him in one lie. If I can catch you in one lie and you're a $19 billion organization and you're getting paid from the taxes of good people, which we call citizens, if you're getting paid $19 billion a year in NASA, I know what they're doing with that money. They're creating fake movies, fake pictures. They're creating fake TV shows. They have partnered up with Disney. Um, they have partnered up with Universal Studios. They control most of Hollywood, they pay off actors and actresses to lie for us, and they tap into the young brains of our kids um, about the ridiculous, about this ridiculous globe that we live on. And they teach them through cartoons, and they lie to them through cartoons, they lie to them, lie through them to everything. And then when you get deep down into it, you start investigating, why are they teaching evolution then? What's their main purpose behind evolution? What's their main purpose about teaching young children about dinosaurs when you can teach young children about the animals that live on earth? You see where I'm going, everyone? When you, when you start diving deep and you desire to grow in emotional intelligence, you understand at a very rational, logical way that everything that was taught to us is irrational. It's illogical. And there's no emotional intelligence um, behind it all. There's no emotional intelligence that brings the foundation to it all because all of it is inconsistent theory, and right? They're inconsistent with everything and you can see the flaws in all of it. Once you dive deep into it, you can see the flaws in everything that they taught to us about dinosaurs, evolution, the world we live on, the globe model, everything. Cavemen. Oh my gosh, really, seriously? Like, and, and people, people ask me all the time, Jason, Jason, wh why, why would they be lying to us? Why would they be lying to us about the world we live on? And I'm gonna give you a big major reason why. The number one reason why is because they don't want you to know how magnificent our creator is. They don't want you to know that there is something bigger and greater than you and I, that most people call God, our true divine soul parent. They don't want you to tap in to her him, her him, divine qualities and attributes. They don't want you to tap in and to physically see the magnificent creator's creation all around us, that there was a hand 
that there was this 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 purposeful design and intelligence that created you and I. They don't want you to tap into that. They don't want you to tap into that uh, that brilliant masterpiece of divinity because they want you to be controlled. They want to have dominance over you. They want to dominate over your mind, body, and soul. They want to dominate over your intelligence. And they started when you were a very, very small child. And that's why it's so very difficult and very challenging for most people to even gravitate to the situation that we might not live on what NASA has taught us. That we might not have landed on the moon. That we might be something really unique and special. And they don't want you to tap into that power. They don't want you to tap into that individual power. Because as more and more people are awakening to that individual power, they're losing their power. And the awakening has already started, everyone. It started 20 years ago, 25 years ago, when the internet was developed. And when 9-11 happened 20 years ago, these bloodline families, these occulted pagan bloodline families showed all of their cards on 9-11. And most people that have rational, logical brains and have a foundation of emotional intelligence called bullshit. Most people called bullshit on that false flag operation. And so you have a lot of people all across the world awakening and it's a beautiful thing. Embrace it. Enjoy it. You're going to go through some major challenges, everyone. People are going to attack you. You will be attacked. Prepare yourself on that. You will be attacked when you come out. You will be attacked on the internet. You will be attacked by your family. You will be attacked by your husbands and wives. You will be attacked by your children. I get attacked on a daily basis. But I know what I'm doing is right. It's one of the reasons why I'm a vegan. It's one of the reasons why I don't drink alcohol. It's one of the reasons why I don't believe well, I don't believe one single ounce of information that comes from that television set, that comes from mainstream news on the internet, that comes from our governments. I don't believe one ounce because they literally have lied about every major thing in our life. Everything. Everything. So with that said, everyone, um, I went a little long, but I need to take my son to Target because he wants to get a toy. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please share it. Please share it with your friends and family. Please like the video. Please comment on the video. Um, yeah, I just encourage everyone to dive in deep, dive in deep, dive in deep, dive in as deep as you can because the rabbit hole goes deeper than you think. The rabbit hole goes th deeper than you think. Um, so dive in deep. Um, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm a divine soul coach. Um, I do work on donations. You do not have to donate to me. Um, I love it so much. I do it for free. So if you are considering on um, wanting to grow and progress in love and truth and wanting to know the inside secrets about everything in life, um, I'll share with you what, with what I know and I'll help you release some of your emotional pain. Um, most of everyone that lives on uh, in, the, in this beautiful realm that we call Earth, uh, most everyone has tremendous amount of emotional injuries when it comes to anger, fear, and grief. Um, but the system has taught us to suppress and deny it and fill ourselves up with many, many addictions to distract us from feeling it and releasing it um, effectively and efficiently. So if you desire to progress in love and truth so you can change your law of attraction and bring on new success, new money, new relationships, your soulmate, 
new friendships, new joys and happiness, new talents and skills, please reach out to me. Like I said, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and you don't even have to pay me, but I will accept your donations as an appreciation. So with that said, everyone, I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your week and hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye now.